Before I walk through the zoo, I always grab some food at Dylan's Barbecue, which is attached to the zoo. From the bar in the back patio, you've got unobstructed views of the flamingos. And from the dining room, which is my favorite place to sit, you got a view of the zoo's aquarium with different kinds of sharks, stingrays, fish, and sea turtles. The kid and me loves this place, and when I bring the kids, they love it too. I love the food, and I've always had great service, and when I've gone, and you get to eat with the sharks. To be fair, they're not the cheapest, and neither is the zoo while I'm on the subject. They were pricey before inflation took hold. Now, I see a lot of people complaining all the time, and I've seen people compare taking their family here to taking their family to Disneyland on several occasions. If you need to save money right now, you can always feed the family first or grab some food inside. There are several options inside that are a little cheaper than Dylan's. As far as the cost of tickets go, I always wait for them to go on sale on Groupon. Groupon is currently offering 39% off of children's tickets and 17% off of adult tickets. If you can round up some friends and family, give they give groups of 10 $5 off per person. All AAA members get $5 off for everyone in their party, and seniors get $5 off on Tuesdays. Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium is a 215-acre zoo with 180,000 gallons of aquarium in Litchfield Park, which is a West Valley suburb of Phoenix. The zoo specializes in African and South American animals, and with over 6,000 animals in total, this zoo houses the largest collection of exotic animals in Arizona. The recent 15-acre addition titled Adventureland opened in February of 2016 and includes four new rides and a new Mexican restaurant called Zubertos. Rides for the park include the African Safari Train Ride, which is narrated ride through the plains of Africa through antelope, gazelles, ostriches, and more. There's a tram ride that tours many of the African animals exhibits, including oryx, sable antelope, watusi cattle, kudu, springbok, wildebeest, gazelles, and antelopes. You also see warthogs, red river hogs, ostrich, and even some rhinos. And the tram driver gives details of each species as you roam the savanna. The log flume ride surrounds three primate islands and takes riders past the aquatic animals and through the aquarium's South Pacific Reef Tunnel Tank before splashing down over three stories. There's a carousel, you know what those are, a family roller coaster, the Soaring Eagle Zip Line, which is a seated zip line with a 100 foot drop spread out over 650 feet of length. They've also got something they call flying scooters, which isn't what you picture when most people will say scooter and flying. This ride is more like one of those swing rides that spins you in circles until you're horizontal to the floor. All of these rides are an additional $6 per person, except for the carousel, which is $3, and the zip line, which is $10. The park also has two gift shops, stroller and wheelchair rentals and rideables. You need to download an app to rent rideables. Rideables are basically just scooters underneath stuffed animals that you could ride through the park so you don't have to walk. The park's pretty big and if you don't normally walk, you might consider renting one of these just to make the tour a little easier. Oh, and when you first enter the park, they'll give you a map. And on that map, you'll see the feeding times listed. If you follow the schedule, you can feed sea lions, penguins, and parrots. You can feed the giraffes, ducks, and koi fish anytime they're hungry using the pellets found inside the vending machines at their respective exhibits. There's a kid's petting zoo and educational shows called Wildlife Encounters, which vary in nature and run on a schedule that you can also find on the map. You can also pet and sometimes feed the stingrays. If you're new to my channel or page, I'm Nick. I'm a local realtor in the Phoenix Valley and I make videos like this for anybody who might be interested in moving to the area, but also to help people who already live here by providing previews of local events, restaurants, shopping, and entertainment before they make the drive. If you're interested in buying or selling a home ever in the future, consider checking out my website. It's filled with digital books and video tutorials and they'll teach you more about real estate than you ever thought you needed to know. You can also shop local homes for sale, and there's never any cost or sign-in required to access any of that information. It's all totally free. To access that information, just go to nickbert.org. All right, I'm going to stop talking now and I'll let you enjoy the animals. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.